Hello everybody, my name is Lina Yousafi and I'm a family lawyer in Vancouver, British Columbia with Wylaw Group. In the previous tutorial I showed you how to find and file a notice of family claim for a divorce. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to file that claim for child custody and child support. So without further ado, I am going to go into the form and show you exactly how to do it. I'm going to minimize myself, bring myself down, and generate the notice of family claim. There we go. Oh, well, I'm gone, but I'm not coming back. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, for children, obviously, this section is quite easy. You just put the name, month, birth, and year, uh, year child relationship to the claimant. Um, you can say, like, you're the claimant. So if you're a mother, you put mother. If you're the father, you put father. Child's relationship to the respondent, it could be the mother, father, uh, grandparent, whatever that may be. Child's habitually resident in British Columbia, it would be month, year, and day. So don't just put the year in there. Child living with, you can put both parties. You can put with me or with the respondent, whatever that may be. Under order sought. Uh, most times we do seek an order for parenting and child support, but if the kids are over 16 years old, then you may not need parenting, or if you um, don't have access to the child or you have the child less than 40% of the time, you don't need to ask for an order for child support. It really is what your situation is. Current arrangements for parenting needs no arguments. Do not argue. Just put in. I have the child primarily residing with me, for example. Um, you can say the child is being shared or I have limited access. Whatever it is, you just put that in there. As far as proposed arrangements, again, no argument. You just say what your wishes are. I wish to have the child in my primary care over 60% of the time, I wish to share guardianship and parental responsibilities. Sorry about my spelling, it's not very great <clears throat> in this form, but in any event, you just put what you wish, and if you don't know what guardianship or parental responsibilities are, go over to our website at wyla.ca, and we have a whole bunch of information on that. This is where it gets important. If you were not married, you can only click this box. If you were married, you can also click Divorce Act. Divorce Act only applies to married couples. So if you put Divorce Act and you're not married, your claim may be rejected by the registry, and we don't want that to happen. Child support arrangements, current arrangements, you can say none at all. You can say, I am receiving $1,000 per month and whatever the situation may be. Income of the person being asked to pay child support is probably the other person that you're suing. So usually I just put, I don't know, because nobody knows for sure, but if you're really certain what their income is, you can say, you fill this out, and you say $60,000, for example, and then it asks based on these facts. So usually you say, I have reviewed his 2017 notice of assessment and I'm sorry I'm saying his it could be hers being gender neutral I'm just doing this quickly and it's usually unfortunately uh, mothers who are seeking child support from dads most of the time anyway so and there's nothing wrong with that by the way proposed child support arrangements usually you put when you click this box it's a monthly amount that you're seeking basically for food and shelter and everyday expenses here you have to put the name of the child that you want the child support for. So you put Mary Jane Smith or any other children. Special and extraordinary expenses are under Section 7 of the Child Support Guidelines. They include tuition, medical dental, um, nanny fees, and swimming, psychology, whatever it may be. And they come up from time to time. So it's best to claim them even if you don't have any right now. So, and then this one by consent almost never happens but it's usually when you and the other parent have consented to the child support amount and you just want an order for it again if you weren't married click family law act 
If you were married, you can click both Divorce Act and Family Law Act. And that's it. In the next tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to fill out this form as far as it uh, relates to spousal support. But this concludes our tutorial. Again, go to our website at wyla.ca if you need any more information or shoot us an email at info at Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.